If you are looking to move to Ajax, don't, um, well actually before watching this video, I'm gonna give you some reasons and why you might not wanna move here. And if you decide after watching the video, you still want to, uh, that's okay because the 10 reasons aren't that bad, but it's just stuff to bring uh, to people's attention so that they're making the right decision when they do move here. I'm in Ajax right now and uh, pretty much like I have so many people that are looking to move to the Durham region and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move here, all you have to do is call, text, email, uh, send the carrier pigeon, whatever is easiest for you. And I'm here to make your move and relocation go so much easier. Uh, these videos are just to help people. So if you're looking to move here, uh, they do reach people all over the world and I think that's like amazing. Uh, so let's jump into the video right now. If you are liking the videos, be sure to like them. If you're getting value out of the content that I provide, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's me know people are enjoying what I'm putting out there, but then it also keeps you up to date. Uh, so we'll jump right into the first reason why you might not want to move to Ajax. And it has to do with uh, Ajax and Pickering. A lot of people get them kind of confused. And where I am right now is kind of the first reason, I guess, that you might get confused in terms of if you are in Ajax or you're in Pickering. Uh, so I'll turn the camera around and it has to do with the sign behind me right there. So we are at Pickering Village and it's actually in Ajax. So if you were living in Ajax and you came to this specific area, uh, you're in Pickering Village. And so it's like an area within Ajax, but it does get confusing to some. Uh, so let's jump on to our next negative. Our next downfall of Ajax has to do with the property taxes. And pretty much it doesn't matter where within Durham you're moving. Uh, Durham does have high property taxes and it's pretty much a negative in every single one of my videos that I do in the Durham region because it is kind of expensive. A uh, home that in Toronto or Markham might cost you $3,000 in property tax a year. Uh, in Ajax or Durham region could be six. So it's like almost double. And even if you look at the percentages of tax rates, it's double. Uh, but one thing that you'll notice is the dollar value for your home that you'll get here is less than what it would be in Markham. Our next negative has to do with uh, if you go downtown Toronto at night, your options to get home are restricted. And what I mean by that is you pretty much have three options. You have the go bus or go train, which has restricted schedules. So if you're too late, you're going to miss it. You have Uber or taxi, which would be fairly expensive from downtown Toronto to Ajax. And then the third option would be is if you're going out and there's a designated driver. The only downfall with pretty much all three of those is if you need a designated driver, it is about 40 minute drive from downtown Toronto to Ajax. And uh, when I was younger, uh, not anymore because I have kids and stuff like that, but I've done that drive as a passenger and it was not good. Uh, I was in Brampton, but it was the same kind of time frame to uh, Toronto and it was just really bad to that extent. So if you are coming uh, downtown Toronto and you're going to be uh, looking for a way home, uh, plan ahead for that one. And let's jump on to our next negative. Our next negative has to do with the rush hour traffic. So I'm standing in front of the 401 right now. So during rush hour, this is a brutal road and I'm specifically at the Salem exit. And to me, in my opinion, that is the worst exit uh, when you are on the 401 because that's where everything kind of bottlenecks. It goes from four or five lanes to three. So it's just everybody's merging over and I do not like it. Uh, the sound quality at this part is probably really bad because of all the traffic behind me, but I just wanted to show the 401. Right now it's about 7.30, so the traffic isn't that bad at all. There's no traffic really, uh, that's nothing. So if you think that's traffic, um, Ajax <laughs> or anywhere in the GTA might be a problem. But uh, yeah, the 401 traffic is specifically at Salem. That's where I find it's a little bit the worst. Uh, and then we can venture into our next point, which has to do with needing a vehicle to survive. So if you are living in Durham or Ajax, and you do not have a vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to stay close to a main road, whether it be Wesney or Salem or uh, Kingston Road, Taunton, Roslyn, because that's where all of the main buses will be and it can connect you anywhere. Outside of that, it's gonna be more challenging. So you're gonna to have to rely on Uber or have your own vehicle. It will make your life a lot easier. If you are working downtown Toronto, then you can pretty much drive to the GO station at Wesney Road 
and then it will get you right to Union Station in about 50 minutes, give or take. Uh, make sure you arrive early so you can get parking. And then another point that we can do while we're here has to do with the main roads that you would rely on. So if you're living in Ajax, the main roads you're gonna be visiting the most is either gonna be the 401, it's gonna be Kingston Road, or it's gonna be Taunton Road. Those are gonna be the main ones. And then the other ones where you're gonna have to take those roads to get to the ones I just mentioned would be Westney or Lake Ridge or Salem or Hardwood. Hardwood, not Hardwood. But uh, so that's the uh, few points that I can cover off here. Let's jump on to our next points. Uh, another negative is there's not much to do here. So if you are used to living in a metropolitan city like Toronto or Montreal uh, or Ottawa and you come to Ajax, if you're going to try and compare the entertainment, there's not uh, much of a comparison. Uh, right behind me there is Ajax Downs, so that's a casino. Uh, so. There's two casinos in Durham, uh, if you're gonna count Port Perry, three. Uh, so we have gambling that we can do um, in terms of like shows or other things like that. Uh, there are some, but you are looking more towards the Tribute Center in Oshawa or the Ajax Convention Center. They might have things here and there, but uh, for the most part, uh, entertainment is lacking and that's covering off that negative. Our second last negative about Ajax in terms of why you should not move here has to do with uh, Ajax has no indoor shopping mall and they have a, they have a lot of outdoor shopping malls. Uh, pretty much all of Highway 2 or Kingston Road is uh, just covered in big box stores similar to what's behind me. I've actually done a video on the, uh, the hot shopping spots of Ajax. Be sure to check it out. Uh, but yeah, so there's no indoor shopping mall. So if you like to go to a mall, Ajax doesn't have that. Uh, luckily there is Oshawa and Pickering, which does have two large malls. Oshawa has the Oshawa Town Center. Sorry, Pickering has the Pickering Town Center. Oshawa has the Oshawa Center. Uh, and a little fun fact too, just as I was uh, finishing shooting the last negative, which had to do around the 401, I uh, put my drone up into the air to try and capture the Salem and 401 exit that I was talking about. And as I was bringing the drone down, I always kind of landed on the back of the truck uh, while it was going to fall because it's a little bit windy. So I went to go stop it and uh, one of the propellers kind of uh, got me in the finger. Luckily, it was just a little bit, but um, I was a little nervous to check that out. Uh, so yeah, Ajax has no indoor shopping mall, but they do have a lot of outdoor big box shops that you can go to. Let's go to our last negative in terms of why you should not move to Ajax. Our final negative has to do with um, the homes. And so one I've noticed is homes that were built in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s uh, within subdivisions are uh, all looking the same pretty much. And there are exceptions. It's like saying all Canadians are good at hockey or like hockey. That's not the case, but uh, that's just one thing that I notice when you drive through Ajax, there are areas where uh, the homes tend to look the same. I don't want which is an example, just in case uh, the homes that I capture are people who are watching it. I'm not planning on trying to offend anybody or anything like that. Well, okay, I'll show you a little bit of what I mean uh, for the odds of the 10 homes that I'm showing. Hopefully out of all of the people who are watching these videos, you're not one of those 10 people. But uh, yeah, you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. A little bonus point that I'll kind of uh, throw in there and it's just of all days for me to be doing this like outdoor filming. Uh, the temperature was insane at certain points. The thermostat uh, was showing that the outside temperature was 32 degrees. Uh, currently right now it's like 20 after eight and the temperature outside is 26 degrees. Very humid, very hot. Um, so Ajax doesn't always get hammered with heat like this, but the summers can be quite hot. So depending on where you're coming from, um, if it's coming from somewhere hot and tropical, then this will be nothing for you. But if you're coming from somewhere cold, uh, you know, our summers can get really hot. So you're gonna wanna make sure if you're buying a home or renting a house that you are getting one that has air conditioning because life without air conditioning is a struggle and I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, the first year we were living in our house, our house we're at now, 
Uh, we didn't have air conditioning. Uh, the builder wanted like six grand. I knew I could get it way cheaper after. But the caveat to that is if you do anything with the furnace, which is adding an air conditioner, you avoid the warranty on your furnace. So we wanted to wait the one year. And that summer was the absolute worst. Uh, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Uh, so just be aware of the temperature. Uh, prepare yourself for it. The winters are cold and the summers are hot. Fall and spring are very nice. Uh, my favorite is fall because it's dry and cool. Uh, spring is wet and cool. So those are just little things like that. Uh, the winters, super cold. And this year was a record year for snowfall. If you didn't have a snowblower, hopefully you knew somebody who did because <laughs> it was brutal. Uh, the snow drifts at the end of the driveway when the plows went by were four and five feet tall. It was just absolutely insane. So that's enough of the bonus one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like it. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. If you have already subscribed, don't subscribe again. It will actually unsubscribe you. I absolutely love it when people reach out to me. I have people reaching out from all over the world. So if you are looking to move to Ajax or anywhere within the Durham region, all you have to do is call, text, email, you can send the carrier pigeon, whatever is easiest for you. And I'm here to make your whole move and relocation go so much easier. Hopefully these negatives of Ajax did not scare you away. If they did, I'm sorry, but at least these are some of the things that you'd want to consider if you're looking to move here. Uh, thanks again for watching and until next time.